Hello again, this is John Wesley Starling, KY8D, and I'm sharing with you today my method of sending on a cootie, more properly called a side swiper. This is my principal one that I use for SKCC marathons. Those are hour-long QSOs, of which I'm trying to get a hundred of them in order to win the award, uh, and so far I have 47. Uh, 47 hour-long QSOs on this paddle without any wrist fatigue or finger fatigue. I even once did two of those back-to-back. -back. So let's try this out. Wrist above the table, uh, thumb and index finger in an inverted U held kind of loose using the finger muscles only very little. Mostly done by waggling the wrist because uh, as opposed to the finger and thumb, the muscles of the wrist and forearm are much larger and can endure uh, the strain for a much longer time without any fatigue. Let's try this out. That sentence is from a set of alphabetic typing drills in a book that I've had since high school. We can do the same thing exactly on regular paddles with iambic turned off. It's just that the hard stops uh, are a little bit more fatiguing on the pad of the finger and thumb doing it this way if you're at it for, say, an entire hour. That was kind of slow. I can go uh, quite a bit faster than that. Uh, up above a certain speed though, I need my left hand to hold the cootie down to keep it from being battered around. Let's try it a little bit faster. And there you have it. That is my method, which is not the only method, but maybe my method will work best for you. Thank you for watching.